I have this glass of water with some sand dissolved in it and I want to separate the sand from the water. Can I do that? But turns out there is a method to, to do the separation, to carry out the separation and that method is called filtration. Filtration is used to separate a solid from a liquid. And in this case, the solid particles, they are not dissolved in water. Filtration only works for such purposes when the, when these solid particles are not dissolved in water. Now, how to carry out filtration? Let's have a look at this. So we can pour the mixture of sand and water onto this filter paper that you can see is fitted in a funnel. And I have something near the bottom of the funnel which can collect the water that will come out. So when I pour the mixture, the filter paper filters out the sand particles and lets the water pass through it, which is then collected in, in, in a container at the bottom. And you can see that in front of you. Now this works because the filter paper has very small pores in it, which can allow the water molecules, the water particles to pass through it, but it filters out. It does not allow the bigger solid sand particles to pass through it. So all the sand is collected in the filter paper and then you get clearer, much clearer water. It's, it might still have very small sand particles present in it, but, but the majority of the sand particles have been filtered out. So now let's have a look at the diagram. This over here, this, you can see that this is the mixture mixture of mixture of the solid mixture of solid and liquid it could be anything it could be chalk in water even chalk does not dissolve in water right and when you pour this mixture onto this filter paper this right here is the filter paper it lets the water molecules to pass through it which is then collected collected at the bottom and that is called a filtrate that is called filtrate in this case the filtrate is water Whatever sand that is collected in the filter paper, that really is called residue. So this is sand in this case. All right. Now this over here is filter. This is a funnel. So let me write that as well. This is a funnel and this could be anything, any, any you can collect the filtrate in any sort of container. It could be a conical flask, a beaker or just, or just an everyday usable container. So this is how filtration works. It is used to separate solid from liquids. And this is a kind of a physical separation. This is called a physical separation because there is no change in how the particles are arranged. Nothing new is formed. You're just separating sand from water. No new substance is formed. You're just physically separating them. And this is how filtration, how filtration works.